Hey, hello. I'm Professor Matthew Hendley. I'm a professor of British history at the State University of New York at uh, Oneonta, up in the woods of uh, New York, a fair distance from New York City. But um, I'm very interested in partnering with a professor at a UK university or a university in the British Commonwealth in New Zealand or Australia or even possibly Canada because I'm very interested in trying to um, share a knowledge of British history with students from a uh, country outside of the United States. My special joy or burden is trying to explain British history to American students and they bring a lot of interesting perspectives, but it's a country they rejected. Uh, they had a revolution to get rid of the British, so they obviously look upon all things British with a special critical eye, and I think it would be very interesting to share um, the views that they might have of British history with people uh, in Britain itself, the UK, uh, or a co countries like Canada or Australia or New Zealand that had a more gentle parting uh, with Great Britain. Um, I've been teaching British history in the United States for 15 years. Um, I have a number of courses that I'd be particularly interested in uh, partnering about. I have a course on the British Empire from 1770 to the present. I have a course in Canadian history, which is very interesting to teach to Americans. Uh, and I have uh, a course on war and society in 20th century Britain, looking at the impact of the South African War of 1899 to 1902, the First World War, the Second World War, and the Falklands War on British society and culture. And I have another course, which is a sort of a survey of um, Britain uh, from the 18th century to the press that I've entitled From Imperialism to the Beatles. We get quite a few fans that think it's more Beatles than imperialism, but um, they're both in there. So um, I think that um, by getting the perspective of British history from both someone in the UK or Commonwealth, comparing with Americans, we could have a very positive shared experience. I'm new to this, but I'd be really interested in having students on both sides um, look at documents or perhaps pictures or paintings uh, and see what their reactions might be uh, to that. Um, I'm very much someone who likes analyzing texts, so certainly having shared readings. But I think it would be really fun for them also to get to know, um, in a social sense, what students are like from a different culture. And with the partnering notions I've had, they'd have a shared language. I think, obviously, accents might be different. Um, some vocabulary would be different, but they'd have a common ground. And maybe with a little bit of working, we could get some synchronous conversations going, the time gap isn't too bad, although Australia might be a challenge, but uh, between the other uh, UK or, or Canada, there'd be minimal or small time gaps. I think that would be fun. Um, I can't promise we'll watch Monty Python together, but I think British humor might be something that would be fun to share uh, and see what the reactions would be. Americans find it a bit exotic, uh, the British might just find it really familiar here. So that's um, a few words about myself. I lived in Britain as a child for a year. Uh, I studied British history in Canada. I grew up in Canada and spent 35 years there, but I'm also a dual citizen, and I'm happy to be in the United States in a pleasant college in the woods of New York, doing my best to illum illuminate uh, British history to my American students. So that's it from me uh, for now. Um, I hope you've learned a little bit about what interests me and what makes me tick, and I'd be interested in meeting a like-minded uh, person uh, who could, who could uh, have a COIL experience with me. So thank you.